And now we're seeing another band move through as we head into the evening commute. Now, most locations are seeing uh, uh, light rain to moderate rain, and in some areas, we're getting some heavier precipitation. And then, of course, in the mountains, we've been seeing the snow. We showed a couple of pictures there from Alta and around Bryanhead. Now, here's a wide look at it, and you can see pretty widespread precipitation around the state. And <laughs> see, now people can't see you. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, do the like, put, who is this? <laughs> so, you gotta see, so I'll put this over my face. So you can see someone is actually here. <laughs> Okay, so anyway, you can see the showers that continue to move throughout the state. All right, let's go ahead. Uh, I'll just keep on going, even though there is standing right behind me. It is uh, 55 right now here in Salt Lake, 52 in Provo, and we're at 64 degrees currently in St. George. Here's a look at a traffic camera. This is out towards... You can see the hands tickling me, right? This is out towards the southwest corner of uh, the Salt Lake Valley where you can see some of that precipitation continues to come down to this area and the, the water kicking up on the roads as well. And uh, there's uh, some more current temperatures right now. 41 in Vernal, 36 in Evanston. Okay, the overall pattern now, you just go ahead and stay right there. You're freaking me out. <laughs> Low pressure right over the top of us. We do have some strong upper level winds that are helping to generate some of that precipitation here in southern Utah as well. Now what's going to happen? This storm system will continue to move to the east and as it does, the winds from the north will, will push through northern Utah and that's going to give us a better chance of that precipitation heading into the evening hours here for northern Utah. 45 right now in Salt Lake, 44 in Provo, 41 in Price. Uh, for overnight lows and you can see 52 in St. George showers will continue into the evening hours here uh, throughout the state and again picking up along the Wasatch Front especially. OK, tonight or excuse me tomorrow 62 for an afternoon high in Salt Lake 61 in Provo 73 in St. George. What's going to have a chance of showers developing again by Friday? What, what, what was wrong with you Saturday. a moment ago? You, you acted so weird like there was something where did wrong. they get that suit? <laughs> I, we don't know what you're talking about. Do you know who it is? Um, it's Bailey. <laughs> <laughs> I can hear her giggling. You're, you're brave, Bailey. That was, that oh, was, that was a rough it's duty. Really can, can, can you see out of that thing? A little bit, but it's really hot. Uh, well, don't, <laughs> don't run into anybody yeah. or anything, okay? Okay. <laughs> oh, boy. Wow. All right, fine. Four wins in a row has the Jazz back into the eighth and final playoff spot in the West. They'll try to make it five straight tonight at home against the Portland Trailblazers. The Jazz.